What's going on everybody? It's your man Dearest Teddy and welcome to the Teddy Files product review. Thank you for joining me and if you can, be cool and press the like button. Family, today we are going to be talking about a company who has decided to affiliate with us. That's right, we have an affiliate with the Grizzly. They're called Duke Cannon. Who is Duke Cannon, you may ask? Duke Cannon is a men's care company that specializes in things like soap, beard oils, beard conditioners, washes, and things of that nature. Basically, anything to take a man's game up to, dare I say, sophisticated standards. So what we're going to be talking about today is one specific item. We're going to be talking about this guy right here. The Big Ass Brick. That's what it's called. That's right. The Big Ass Brick of IPA Soap. What is an IPA? IPA stands for Indian Pale Ale. Hey, I just learned that today, man. I don't know anything about beer. All I know is it tastes good when I drink it. But... I know what you're thinking. Teddy, I do not want to walk around all day smelling like no damn beer. Well, let Teddy be his best Bill Nye moment. What happens is, until you allow the hops to ferment, they don't taste like the beer that we all know and love. Case in point, like when wine comes from being grapes, or when you try to make any kind of alcohol, it has to go through a fermentation process in order to get to that point. But what we're talking about now is the hoppy notes that start off and this soap, which is way before the fermentation process, but that's not the only thing in there. Let me tell you what else was in there. Citrus, neroli, and bases of sandalwood and oak moss. So basically, I smell like a man all damn day. But let's talk about the elephant in the room. Who's the elephant in the room? Let me show you. This little guy. Okay. So we all know this soap. We're not going to say nobody's name. We're not going to say the name of anybody else's soap because let's just be real. They worked when they worked. They worked when we were children. They worked really good when we were children. We got clean. So shout out to whoever these people are. But what I will say is this. As we get older, our skin changes. See, when we were kids, our, can, our skin will snap back. You can wash with anything. You can damn near wash with uh, any kind of dish soap. You can do with anything. Just as long as it gets you clean and your skin snaps back. You can't do that when you get older. As you get older, these types of things, these types of soaps, strip your skin of all the oils, vitamins, and nutrients that your skin needs to look younger, to look better, to be well nourished. That's why sometimes when you walk around, sometimes people have those bags under their eyes. Their skin looks old, it looks aged, and sometimes they look older than what they really are. Well, I mean, you, you've seen somebody that's walking around and they're uh, 45 years old, but they look like they're 65. That's what that soap, that's what this soap will do to you. So you want to start getting a soap that actually nourishes your body and it nourishes your skin. That's why you put away what you used as a kid and you pick up what a man uses. That's right. I got one on deck. That's right. This is the Big Ass Beer Soap, IPA. So, in comparison, just so you can see, this is not a joke. Kid soap, man soap. Kid, man. See the difference? But I know what you're thinking. Teddy, you know what? I bought these soaps in these boxes before, and you see them in these big gigantic boxes, and next thing you know, you look in there, and the soap ain't nowhere near the same size. The damn thing probably could just roll around in there like a BB. No, that's not going to be the problem here. I'm going to open this thing right on camera so you can see. That's right. That's your soap. Okay, you see that? Almost big enough to cover Teddy's head. Well, not quite. But anyway, this is your soap. And just so you know, if it doesn't have that guy on there, it's not Duke Cannon. But look, hey, I can sit here and talk about this all day. I can sit here and tell you that the smell, to me, smells like a summer's day. And what have I already said about on the last product review? This is summertime, and these are the things that we need to try to wear now. You don't want those heavy, strong, leathery smells. This is summertime. You want to smell a little bit more lighter, a little brighter, a little crisper. And this will get you clean, and it will keep you moisturized. But do not take my word for it. I'm going to leave description. I'm going to leave it in the description box so that you can find out for yourself. I'm going to leave the links down here and you tell me what you think. You can come back on here and say, hey, Teddy, you know what? Thank you for that suggestion, man. I love these soaps. I'm going to be buying a lot more. Well, you can say, Teddy, you full of shit, man. Hey, look, I did not like those soaps. It didn't do nothing for me. But I will tell you this. 
I was using these soaps long before I became an affiliate with these guys, and I stand by them. So I told you on the last one, I will not talk about a product that I have not used myself. And I have definitely used Duke Cannon before, and I love them. So what I will say is this. Duke Cannon is the kind of soap that you use when you're trying to take your game up to the sophisticated way. So it's a sophisticated soap so for a sophisticated man. But you know what? Like I said, go down into the description box, click onto the link, tell me what you think yourself. That's my time for today. And once again, like I said, be cool when you press the like button. Share this and subscribe this. It helps the channel to grow. It helps me to get better. And it helps to bring more products to my people. Until next time, Teddy out.